Rosalind Taylor O'Neill is an accomplished educator, speaker, author, and consultant. When I talk about diversity and differences, I am talking about all kinds of differences. And you nod your head, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you hear race and gender. And you don't hear anything else. And you say, well, but it's probably about um, sort of a white guy thing, you know, and what they've done wrong. <laughs> and I don't want to talk about what white guys have done wrong. <laughs> it's a subject that would take much too long. <laughs> Now, now. <laughs> Diversity is about how you and I are different and similar and what that means to us. And it has actual meaning for us. She is a woman with something to say. And I think that's particularly great since March is a month that we celebrate the contributions of women who make headlines, blaze new trails, or just plain make history every day. I define diversity as the ways in which you and I are different and similar, and that the, and the impact that has on our interactions. Seven things have emerged. And these seven have to be present if an organization is going to create a visibly diverse and inclusive environment. If, in fact, you want to be a part of an organization that is visibly diverse and includes you, includes the way that you think, includes the way that you view the world, includes the way that you talk, includes the way that you work, you have to have these seven elements present. I like to think about them as the combination to a safe, and in that safe is something wonderful. Whatever in your mind is the most incredible thing that could be in that safe. In that safe is an organization that people cannot wait to come to work for. In that safe are environments where people really have a great time and work and make money. All three things happen. And the combination is seven numbers. And it's, you know, 28. Then it's 17 left. And then it's 40 right. Then it's 16, 32, back past 42. And it's a combination. And they give you the combination. Now, as you know, if you get the combination to a safe and you do two numbers, that's really lovely, but you don't get into the safe. If you decide to skip the second number on a combination, if you have a combination lock and you decide to skip the second number, well, I don't like that number. I'm not going to use that one. You don't get in. Not only does she have something to say, but say it she does in her trademark style with humor, intelligence, and more than a little compassion. And I really am honored to have been asked to come and to speak at the 73rd anniversary of the Black Chamber of Commerce. I'm also, um, and I have to mention it, I am also thrilled to be in a room with this many black folk. Um, I don't know about the rest of you, but this is not my daily life. Uh, I don't generally get up every day and look around, you know, and see all this many folks hanging out. And so I am really, really thrilled. I'm going to talk to you this evening about the topic of diversity. Now, the reason that I'm going to talk to you about the topic of diversity is it is the only thing I know. It's the only thing I care about. It's the only thing I think about. It is, in fact, both my vocation and my avocation. We bring an understanding of groupness and group identity. And I don't think we think about that very often. I was in Mexico very recently. And we were meeting with some people and having some conversations. And one of the things that a couple of folks said sort of offline, they said to me, you know, you really understood that 
we see ourselves as Mexicans, that we see ourselves as members of a culture and a group with a history and a fabric. And that was very, very important to us. And I said to them, it's because I come from a people who see and understand that we are members of groups. We bring with our history a determination that organizations must have. The reason this chamber has, li has lived for 73 years, the reason you and I are sitting in this room is because we come with a people who are determined to fight and struggle and strive until we win. We come with a determination and that determination is as important in business. It is as important in the development of organizations as it is in our lives and we bring those things. I say to organizations, you need us. We are a people with a passion. 